I need each of you to take a colour container that is behind you, but not the same colour as the other person. Please go and fetch one. Pearl, please could you take the bowl and describe to us what do you see in this bowl? We started off the children just with engaging them into something fun and exciting with a fruit bowl where they had to identify the different fruits within a bowl and then a, a good skill is sorting we need that for graphs and data handling so I asked the children to share the fruits into the different bowls and sort them out thereafter the children could then um, count how many they have in their bowl and they shared that with the class Eight. Each child then got a bucket to go and stand with a friend and then the teacher posed the problem to the children. What should they do if the children need to share? And many of the children shared that one needs to halve and share it into the two bowls equally. The children then understood the concept of halving and where we are going to go to with the lesson of today, which involves larger numbers than just a few unit numbers. It's easier for them to connect to the concept if they're closer and they can physically do the activity. I would like you to take your blocks that you have on your table and halve the strawberries into two groups for Miss Bull like they show with the baskets. The lesson went into taking what the children know, the smaller amounts like the units and then adding the tens to halve. The children often feel that when it comes to halving big numbers they, they're not sure because halving in, in a smaller foundation and a grade, they just expect it to know the answer. Whereas I would like to teach the skill of having a method of halving, that they're not afraid to try and get to the answer. Mia, how many strawberries did you count? 14. And when you halve the strawberries? 7. So then we did the skill of the basket method, where we then, what we just did visually, we're going to explain on the board in a mathematical concept. I would like the following children to come to the carpet with their string of beads. Keelan, Zandile, Tristan and Pearl. Everyone's going to answer this one together. How many beads does Tristan have? Six. And Keelan? Six. So if I put Tristan and Keelan together, I have? Six. How many does Zandile have? If I put Tristan, Keelan and Zandile together, I have? And if I put Pearl, then how many do I have all together? Forty. Is this a tens number or is this a units number? Tens. Thank you, Asha. All right. Continue to stand here. Now I need Uhuru to bring four blocks for Miss Bull, please. All right. Is this a tens number that you have or a unit number? It's a unit number, lovely. It's very important to use different resources so that the children associate the different units and tens. Our number is 42. Do you need four blocks or do you need two to match to this number? Two. Two. So please could you give Megan two blocks? Thank you, Huru. Right, now we're going to count the number all together, starting with Pearl. 10, 10 20, 30, 40, Now we're going to share these strings and then the two blocks equally. So I'm going to start by moving my unit across. Where do you think should I halve them? You should halve them between the two, so you put two over here and two at the other side. They answered that I should split them into two, two on the one side and two on the other side. And then in total we could see each child had 20 and the other group of two children also had 20. So now we move over to our unit and we need to halve our unit. Uhuru, how are you going to halve two? With Megan. All right, you want to share it with Megan. Megan, please come forward then. It really is a rewarding feeling for the teacher because you're aware that they understand the concept of sharing and that it's between two. So I was more than happy to see that she invited a friend forward. 
They then shared it amongst one another and each child then got one. Uhuru, please can you go and stand with Pearl and Zandile? And Megan, please could you stand with Tristan and Keelan? Thank you. Now we have halved the total number of 42. We've done our tens and our units. So Keelan has got 10, Tristan has got 10, and Megan has got 1. In total, they have 21. On this side, we have our tens on this side. We have our units here. So it's 10 plus 10 plus 1 which equals 21. Half of 42 is 21. What I like about this method of teaching is that it teaches the children that they have the skill to work with the units and the 10 separately. It's something that is easier for them to grasp. And I really feel that the children understand the method of seeing it visually come together again. First, we take our 10, then we take our units. Pearl, what is the value of the underlined digit? The underlined digit is 30. And the other digit that we have is a unit. What is the value of the unit, Reniwa? Six. Who can tell Miss Bull what is the next step that I have to do now? You have to make the basket. And on the other side where the six is, you have to make the, the basket. And then you have to halve that. Right. We're going to start with our tens and we're going to halve that. Halving of 30 is not such an easy number to halve. So if you get stuck with halving 30, what method could you use to help you to find the answer? Use your tens number line. Our tens number line, which I'm going to work at the top here. What should I do next if I've got my tens number line, Michelle? You should write your fives number line under. By doing that, who can tell Ms. Bull what is half of 30? Sibu. 15. So when we halve our tens, we look at the bottom number to help us. The bottom row is counting in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So then I can look at the number at the bottom to see what half of 30 was. So we're going to fill in that half of 30 is 15 as we used our number line. And half of six is three as Tristan explained before. What is my next step going to be? The next step is that you have to add the numbers. We take one basket from each side and we add them together. 15 plus, the, plus 3 gives you... Why I like the basket method is it's a skill that the children can use whenever they're not sure of how to halve a number they have a, an easy method, I feel, that helps them to break up the numbers and split it into half. You can group them into different ability groups where the stronger children are able to do the basket method on their own. Some of them can even do extension work in the baskets where they can go into the hundreds. And a smaller group of children would be working on the carpet with the teacher as these children need to revise the, the concept that we've just taught and for the teacher to make sure they really are understanding the concept well. It's very important to make sure that the children on the carpet understand from the beginning right to the end. So we revise the, the concept of place value where we ensure that the children understand what the digits are for in a number so that the, we are aware that they know that the one number is, uh, represents a 10 and the other number represents a unit. This lesson today focused on halving and I really thought that this method of the basket method really ensures that the children understand the skill of halving and 
I find that it works for my class really well and that I would like to share it with those who are willing to learn.